everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to uh, I'm going to ask you to take two templates that I've created for you, and I'm going to get you to put those in your Fusion 360 folder so that you can also use them. So I have this file called Title Block, and I have Title Block ISO. The difference between the two, you'll see that they're slightly different. Like this has different arrows, the box is centered, everything else looks the same. This one, the box is not centered and it has little dash tick marks instead of the, the boxes. And the difference is this one, the ISO is for metric files. So if we build anything in millimeters or centimeters, we're gonna use this setup. And the one that's just titled title block, that's for anything we build in English parts. So, so you know, feet and inches, that kind of thing. Uh, most of what we do in our class is going to be just the standard title block, okay? But we do need the ISO just in case. So what I've done is I went through and I right-clicked and I shared a public link. And I took that public link and I make sure that it was available for download whenever you, uh, and, and I placed it, uh, let's see here where I put it, okay? I placed it on our Canvas site. I put links to it here for the regular one and ISO block is right here. And if you click on those, what it's going to do is it's gonna take you to a website. And you're gonna see the drawing sheet that I've set up. This is a template that I've set up for you that's blank and ready to use. And up in the top right, you'll have download. So whenever you click on that, it's gonna download it. And obviously I'm on a Windows machine and you're probably on your MacBook right now, but the, the process is gonna be exactly the same. So you're gonna to go to your downloads folder and you're gonna see it there. Here's the one I just downloaded. Now the problem is, is this is like a generic file name. So we have one step that we need to do that's really, really important. We're going to go and we're gonna click on this and we're gonna add .f2t, okay? .f2t is the template extension for Fusion 360. When you click it, notice it changed the file type to .f2t. Now your computer doesn't recognize that, but Fusion 360 will. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go back and you guys created a folder called templates for me. I'm gonna go into that. You're gonna upload. And for some reason on your MacBooks, you have to use the drag and drop option. For me, I can go select files and I can choose this and I can click open for, but again, for students, what we found so far is MacBooks, you have to drag and drop, okay? So you drag and drop into this, you click upload at the bottom, and it's gonna place it, if you have your templates folder open, it's gonna place it inside the templates folder. You may have to move it if you weren't inside there to begin with, okay? If you did it correctly, you should see this little symbol right here show up next to it. Now, I can go and I can rename it if you want to. Now that it's in there, you can call it like a uh, title, block that was the ISO one so I'm going to call it metric you know you can go and rename it if you want to just to make it easier for you oh, I didn't. there we go I have to hit enter at the end okay but the reason that I did that now is this so I'm going to go back here I'm going to pick a part that you're not actually going to work on let's say that I opened up 4.2 part one that's this is not one of the ones you're doing for this assignment okay but I can go now to model drawing from design and when I wanna do this, I'm gonna choose instead of from scratch, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose browse because yours is gonna be empty first. And in my master folder, I'm gonna to go to the templates. I'm gonna choose that metric one that I just created. I'm gonna hit select. I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna set up a sheet of paper for you that's the correct size is an eight half by 11. It's gonna have the title block down at the bottom and you can go and create your part file from there. So hopefully that makes sense. That's what I need you to do. It's the adding the file extension is the really important step before you upload it into Fusion 360. That way it's available for you to use.